If you are thinking of trading before placing your next trade, you guys need to watch this video because these next five steps will help you save thousands of dollars. And honestly, I wish someone told me about these five steps when I started out. I started day trading in 2019, so I have been trading for about four to five years now and I have made a lot of mistakes along the way. And the whole point of me making this video is that I don't want you guys to make the same mistakes. The first point to understand is that you will lose money. There are no ifs and buts about it. Yes, you might have beginner's luck. You might make a few hundreds or few thousands of dollars, but the bad thing is that you won't be a beginner forever and your luck won't last forever. I feel like 99% of the traders out there, including me as a beginner trader, we jump into the market with a false idea, with a false perception we feel like okay i'm gonna invest thousand dollars in the stock market in the futures market or whatever and i'm gonna grow that thousand dollars to a million dollars within the next six months trading is similar to any other career out there if you want to become a lawyer you have to spend approximately four years of your life time and money on education to become a lawyer if you want to become a doctor you have to spend approximately 10 years of your life on education to become a surgeon and also money on education if you want to become a good athlete the same thing applies to you as well you have to spend a lot of time on training practice meditating focusing on your health and focusing on your health is also not very cheap so you have to spend a lot of money on your health as well and same thing with trading when you jump onto trading just don't have a false idea that okay i'm gonna invest thousand dollars and convert thousand into a million dollars it's gonna take a lot more money it's gonna take a lot more time for you to become a consistent trader so when you're losing money at first it's not losing it's investment you're investing in yourself so that you can become a good trader so that brings us to the second point the first point was that you will lose money in the market but the second point is that how much you lose depends on you unlike a lot of other careers out there for example if you want to become a doctor or a lawyer you have to spend thousands 20 or fifty thousand dollars but to become a good day trader how much money you spend how much money you lose and how much money you invest in yourself depends on you for me i invested around 12 to fifteen thousand dollars on my trading so that includes a combination of trading losses of around seven to eight thousand dollars and i spent around four to five thousand dollars on my trading education but for you it might be way less because since 2020 a lot lot of retail traders got into the market because of working from home and we also have a lot of good retail traders posting about their trades posting about trading education on social media like on youtube and instagram including me so now there is plenty of free education out there so you can lower your trading education cost i spent around four to five thousand dollars you can spend around one to two thousand dollars the second thing was your trading losses because as a beginner trader your main focus should be to learn from your mistakes and you can either pay ten dollars to learn from a mistake or you can pay hundred dollars to learn from the same mistake so what i mean is that as a beginner trader you will lose money you will make mistakes but your stop loss needs to be really really small you can either pay hundred dollars lose a trade and learn from that mistake or you can pay ten dollars lose that trade and get the same learning from that mistake when i started out my stop loss was only 10 to 20 dollars then i slowly increased to 40 dollars then 60 dollars then 100 dollars but i was still at the end i lost around seven to eight thousand dollars in my trading losses because i was red for the first 11 months of my trading journey if you guys want to know more about my trading journey that video is the best performing video of this channel the link will be at the top that brings us to the third point and the third point is that you need to have an alternate source of income you need to have a side hustle a side job side business or whatever so that your bills are at least covered trading is one of the most stressful and one of the most emotional career out there so if you want to make x amount of money to pay your bills to pay your mortgage to feed your family it's not going to help you with your trading believe me i started seeing consistency in 2020 at the beginning of 2020 and then i decided to quit my job in mid 2021 so that means i was consistent for about 18 months before i even thought of quitting my job and that was my plan all along my plan was that if I'm consistent for 12 months at least, then I'm going to think of going full time as a day trader and think about quitting my job. And then I was still scared. After 12 months, I was scared. And that's why it took me 18 months to quit my job. But that was the best decision of my life because after quitting my job, I could focus completely on trading. I could focus on other things, sleeping well, meditating. And that has taken my trading performance to the next level. So at first, you need to sacrifice for long term success. Having the alternate source of income also correlates with your stop loss. For example, if you're making two hundred dollars from your day job from your side hustle and you need hundred dollars to maintain a lifestyle then out of that hundred dollars fifty goes to your savings and then fifty you can try around with with trading as well right so your stop loss can be more than fifty dollars and that is the exact reason personally i don't agree with one person rule two person rule or three person rule you need to risk three percent of your account because risk is a lot more personal than that everyone has a different lifestyle you might make two hundred dollars a day and spend one fifty dollars of it or you might make two hundred dollars a day 
but your lifestyle only needs fifty dollars. That's why the lifestyle is very different, and that one person or two person or three person rule does not apply to everyone. You need to find out the dollar amount that you are comfortable risking, that you can afford to lose every single day, and that should be your stop loss. And this was only as a beginner trader because once you get enough experience and once you turn full time, you have a six figures or seven figures account. Then focusing on dollar amount doesn't make sense. Then you have to focus on percentages. That okay, if I have a hundred thousand dollars account, I can risk one or two percent of my account to make four or five percent. But as a beginner trader, when you have a side hustle, when you have a side alternate source of income, you need to find that dollar amount that, okay, I am comfortable risking X amount of money every single day without affecting my lifestyle. That brings us to the fourth point, which is the most important point, And that is trading income is inconsistent. You need to get rid of your nine to five mentality. For me, it was a 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. job. So I'm going to call it seven to seven. But I was used to getting constant, consistent paycheck at the end of the month. And that is not the case with trading. In jobs, you exchange your time for money. But in trading, eventually, once you get enough experience, you're going to exchange your experience for money, not your time for money. You have to engrave that in your head. A simple test you can perform to find out if you have a nine to five or seven to seven mentality is just to ask yourself, is it easy for you to sit on your hands if you don't see a trade opportunity or you have that urge to take a trade every single day? Let me know in the comment section below because my answer still, even after trading for five years, is that I feel the urge to take a trade every single day. And that is why I'm very excited to know your thoughts. So let me know in the comment section below. Now it's a lot better. In 2023, it's a lot better than it was in 2022 compared to 2021. But I still feel that urge that, okay, if I'm spending time in front of my screens, if I'm spending time on my trading, I need to get rewarded for that. And that reward needs to come in terms of money. And that is why trading is one of the most stressful and one of the most emotional career out there because you can do all the right things. You can wake up early in the morning. You can go for a jog. You can meditate. You can focus on your health. You can have a healthy lifestyle. You can do all the right things even when trading, you can stick to all your rules, but then you can still lose money at the end of the day. And that is the exact reason why you can't exchange your time for money in trading, because you can spend time on trading, but you can still lose money. That's why you exchange your experience for money in trading. You go to a nine to five, there you exchange your time for money because you can perform the best one day, or maybe the next day you are feeling sick, you might not perform really well, but you will still get paid at the end of the month. You might not get that promotion, but you will still get paid at the end of the month. But in trading, if you don't perform, you will lose money. Someone is going to take your money. The one trick that helps me deal with the inconsistency of trading income is that if you're making X amount of money on an average every single month, just imagine that only 10, 20 or 30% of that money is yours. Because I feel like a lot of traders make this mistake. If they make $10,000 or $1,000 on one day, they are like, okay, it's all mine. Yes, it's true. But again, the next day you have to risk a bit of money to make more money. So that's why if you imagine that if you make X amount of money, but only 20 or 30% of that is yours and you're able to sustain a lifestyle with that 20, 30 person, it's going to help you deal with the inconsistency of trading income first thing. The second thing is that it's going to help you take it to the next level as well, because then the next month or maybe the next day, you have a bit of profits, not the whole amount, but you can risk a bit more to make more amount of money. But if you are stuck on the hamster wheel, you're making money, then you are spending, you are making, then spending, making, then spending, it's going to be very difficult for you to increase your trading size and increase your trading performance. That brings us to the fifth and the final point, and that is trading income is exponential. Trading is one of the most rewarding careers out there. It gives you the opportunity to make more money than a top class athlete, than a doctor, than a lawyer. It's It can be the most rewarding career out there. So it deserves your time and efforts. I'm a living proof in front of you because I just explained in the second point that I invested around twelve to $15,000 on my trading education and my trading losses. But if you guys go through my YouTube and my Instagram on a good day, I can make twenty to $50,000 from trading. So all those losses of 10 to 11 months and my education, I can make that all back on one good trade. That's why trading income is exponential. So I don't care if you make $100 on one day, but the question is, can you repeat it? Can do you have consistency? If you can make $100 on an average every single day, then come to me and I can show you how to make $200, how to make $300, how to make $500, how to make $1,000. Because in trading, you just have to click the hotkey with the higher position sizing to make big amount of money. It's not like at a job that, okay, after one year, you're gonna get 5% or 10% raise in your salary. It's not like that. If you're trading well, you can increase your size the next day itself. So the promotion of your income, the promotion of your career depends on 
you and the only criteria for that promotion is you trading well i don't care if you make five thousand dollars on one day on a lucky trade but can you repeat it are you trading well if you're trading well do you have the confidence in your own trading if the answer is yes then only you will be able to increase your position sizing if you are able to make five or ten thousand dollars on one lucky trade the next day you will give it all back and you won't have confidence in your own trading again a trick from my personal experience two years ago i was totally fixated i was obsessing over that 10k day or 10k trade but then eventually i grew out of it so now i focus on can i repeat that 10k day even if i get that one 10k rate can i repeat it i want to focus on consistency i want to focus on consistent growth over time repeatability and consistency are more important than having that one lucky trade so instead of focusing on that 10k day or 10k trade you need to focus on a 10k month first first focus on 10k year then focus on 10k month then focus on 10k week because that will allow you to be consistent and then you can focus on 10k day because just zoom out a bit slightly zoom out and look at the bigger picture if you are making 10k a month that means you are making 500 dollars a day on an average there are approximately 20 to 25 trading days in the market so on an average you are making 500 dollars but if you are making 10k a week that means you are making two thousand dollars on an average every single day there's a huge difference between 10k a month and 10k a week so you need to zoom out and look at the bigger picture by average i don't mean being green every single day but your green days are bigger than your red days for example if you want to make 500 dollars on an average every single day so one day you are making thousand the next day you're losing two three hundred or five hundred the next day you take a really good trade and you make two thousand dollars so we are talking about average because focusing on the average will allow you to focus on consistency and that consistency will allow you to make 10k a year 10k a month 10k a week and then 10k a day that brings us to the bonus point and the final point of this video is to enjoy the journey and keep rewarding yourself along the way because this journey will never stop if you are making hundred dollars a day now then you're gonna start focusing on making five hundred dollars then thousand dollars and fifteen hundred dollars if you guys saw my video on mastering trading emotions that video will be linked at the top i talked about this that humans are wired to be greedy the greed will never stop and that's a good thing i'm a firm believer of pushing the boundaries pushing the limits having a goal and striving towards it because if you are happy making five hundred dollars every single day then you don't have a goal anymore you are just comfortable where you are so i love pushing the boundaries i love pushing the limits but i also like rewarding yourself along the way and enjoying the journey so that for you can be taking some time off going on a vacation with your family or loved one just buying something for yourself nice or maybe as simple as patting yourself on the back and just congratulating yourself for each and every step along the way and now i think it's the perfect time to end this video on a good note if you guys like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it helps out the channel a lot to reach new traders out there if you guys are new here don't forget to click the subscribe button because i'm posting new videos on day trading every single week if you guys don't follow me on instagram go give me a follow there because i post a lot of behind the scenes of a day trader my pnl my entries and exits on instagram as well the link will be in the description box below thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video